Maybe you've asked yourself about the difference between Unitarian Universalism and the United Church of Christ. Are we cousins? If so, are we kissing cousins? Find out more on this episode of Three Minutes in UU History. Going back in the history of both the United Church of Christ and Unitarian Universalism, we find a common ancestry in early Congregationalist churches that arose from the arrival of the Puritans on the shores of Massachusetts in the early 17th century. And of course, because of this common ancestry, the Cambridge Platform of 1648 is considered a foundational document in both denominations. We've covered some of this in other episodes. I'm looking at you episode called, What is Covenant? And we will probably cover the Cambridge Platform in its own standalone episode. As the Unitarians split from the Congregationalists, what with William Ellery Channing preaching a sermon titled Unitarian Christianity in 1819, the two denominations moved apart in a way that is perhaps best described as being two sides of the same coin. On the one hand, you have modern Unitarian Universalists who mostly acknowledge the prophetic words of Jesus the man. And on the other, you have the United Church of Christ, who still accept on some level, depending on the congregation individual you ask, that Jesus is the Son of God and that there is a trinity of some sort that exists in the spiritual ether. So back to the original question, are we kissing cousins or not? If by kissing cousins you mean the standard dictionary definition of a relative to whom you are close enough for a kiss to be an appropriate greeting, then yes, we are kissing cousins. If you mean something else, well, we aren't going there. And that is today's somewhat inappropriate three minutes in UU history. <laughs>